Hello, I am Connor Wilson. Today I'm going to be preparing snickerdoodle cookies for you. Snickerdoodles are a very cinnamon y cookie. It, it's flavored like cinnamon, it's delicious, it's good, and you're going to want to know how to make them. So, I'm going to walk you through all of the ingredients that you need. I will walk you through how to make the dry part, how to make the liquid part, how to put it all together, and what your end result should hopefully be. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, but first I'd like to just make a note. Um, I apologize if my head is being clipped off of the camera a little bit, as it's standing straight up. So my head is very much going to be clipping off the top through most of this. I apologize. I also want to get through this fairly quickly because I have ran out of storage space a total of four times now, and I'm hoping it won't happen again. So let's get to the ingredients. You are going to need one and a half cup of sugar. You will need a half cup or one stick of butter or margarine, if you prefer. You will need half of a cup of shortening. I use Crisco. It, it's shortening. Whatever works for you, works for me. You're also going to need two eggs. You'll need two three-fourths cups of all-purpose or unbleached flour. Um, you will need two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Two teaspoons. You will need one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And separately from the rest of these ingredients, you will want to have a fourth of a cup of sugar again, along with two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So now that you know all the ingredients that you need, let's get to the mixing part. Now, due to time constraints, I have already pre-mixed most of it. So I'm just going to talk you through what you will need to do. So first off, you're going to want to mix together the one and a half cup of sugar, the butter, the shortening, and the eggs in one large bowl. And then you will want to stir together the flour, the cream of tartar, the baking soda, and the salt in a separate bowl. As you can see, I've, I've already combined it. That's what you'll want to do once you have separately stirred each of these. You're going to want to combine it at the end. Now, I am already at that step, which is good, because it's the important step at the end. Once you've got that combined, Obviously, you're going to want to stir it up so you don't have a bunch of, like, flour just sitting on top of this liquid gunk. And it will start to look a bit more like a cookie and not just random raw ingredients, which is always nice. It is typically good whenever your cookie product looks like a cookie, unless that's not what you're going for, which is okay. But we're going for making normal, wholesome cookies of the snickerdoodle variety. So, once you feel that you have mixed it together reasonably well, what you're going to want to do, you'll take this bowl, right? And it says about one and one fourth inch balls. Really, you, just, you, you take a good amount in your hand, right? set the bowl aside, you take this good amount, and you just sort of roll it. That's all you need to do, just roll it into a bowl so that it starts to look like a cookie. You could use a scoop, that works too. Th this is easier and faster, it just is. What you're going to want to do, you remember that sugar and the cinnamon that I told you to set aside separately? Well, you're going to want to combine both of that into a smaller little bowl. You'll take this dough you just slap it in, right? Roll it around a little bit in the cinnamon sugary, and eventually you'll have this 
cinnamon and sugar covered ball of dough. You will take this ball of dough, put it on a pan, um, you'll stick that pan in the oven, and the oven should be preheated at approximately 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You will want to just space a few of these out evenly on a pan, bake it for 8 to 10 minutes, and when you are finished, when you are finished, it should hopefully look like this. Yay! That, that should be your end product, I guess. So, in conclusion, I told you all about the ingredients you need, how to mix together the dry and the liquid part, uh, finish it all together, put the finishing touches. There's a low battery notice on my camera just in time because we are done here. Thank you for watching.